people that come here, they want, oh, I want something cheap. Nope, I'm not making it. The Kebab Series on tour. Today we're down at Kismet Kebabs to see how they make all of their products. They're mugging me off, making me put a hairnet on. Welcome to Unit 2, our first department of Kismet Kebabs. Wow. In this room in total, we have 12, we call them robots, but they're not. They're just giant kebab slice machines. So each kebab is about 300 kilos each. 300 kilos, wow. Just to put it in perspective, a normal kebab shop is about 10 kilos. So as you can see, so all the kebabs are automatically sliced. And they will go on an automated conveyor belt. That will go into what we call room number two where they will go into the packaging for the retail outlet. What we do is we'll cool down our product to eight degrees. We'll get it down to a chill temperature yep. for food safety and to help with the packaging as well. The products are quite high and then this will bring them over to our, what we call our multi-head weigher. Get ready for the roller coaster <laughs> yeah. to drop down. Yeah. This is kind of the brain of the operation. This machine will decide and calculate what your pack size needs to be. I will drop into different compartments. So in total, there's 20 compartment heads. How long does it take from cooking, slicing, chilling, sorting, and then packaging? So for a specific pack of 350 grams, I say for when it's sliced to package, no more than two to three minutes. How many packets a week are you doing? So on average, we're doing about 50 bags of packets a week overall. Just to put that in perspective, that's probably about 200,000 pulses. Off the, the product has come from room number two now, it's all packaged, so it comes through, it goes through a metal detector and a check way at the same time. Packers will package it up in boxes, palletise it, go back in the blast breeze to get frozen and all ready to be sent out to the customers. We are in the test kitchen now, are we? Yes. Yes. Americans, it's very tasty, this is right. Same as the pepper and the seed. Once you start churning it in your mouth, you know you're in a good quality dinner and it's not mashing in your mouth. It's so good. You know, it's, it's browned off on the outside. Yeah. It's still got that nice meat consistency yes. on the on the inside. Indeed, yes. And this is quality. Yeah. You are eating quality. Yes. So this concludes our factory tour of Kismet Kebabs. And I've learned so much. I didn't realise, one, the scale that these guys are operating on and the customization of their, their products. And just to show, we've got all of these wonderful style kebabs in front of us, from their chicken to their doner and the ways that you can have it. So this is their, their retail range and it's amazing. And um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna tuck in to a load of Donna meat. Thank you.